Welcome to the Why You Can't Sleep podcast. If you struggle to sleep and you've tried what seems like everything, you are in the right place. There are imbalances in your body that are keeping you awake, and you're going to learn what they are in this show. Now let's kick off this episode with an inspiring success story from one of my clients who has significantly improved their sleep by correcting the underlying health issues that were causing their insomnia. My client Susan wrote at the end of working together, the content you send out each week is phenomenal and I've never experienced a more comprehensive sleep program that addresses every underlying issue that could be causing sleep problems. Now that it has been six months, I do find my anxiety around sleep is much better. I am almost off of my Unisom. I feel lighter and more vibrant with the food I am eating. So awesome to hear, Susan. Hi, everyone. This week, I want to tell you about four reasons why nothing has worked to improve your sleep. So if you are like I was and you are like most of my clients, then you have tried many different things to help you sleep. Probably melatonin, magnesium, CBD, different herbs, maybe even sleeping pills, over-the-counter meds like Tylenol PM, maybe some gadgets like sleep trackers and a new mattress and a cooling pad or some essential oils. It's pretty much endless, the things out there that are claiming to help you sleep. But if you're listening to this, my guess is that nothing has really worked. You keep researching, you keep hearing about new things, you keep trying them. You're totally in this cycle where you read about something, you try it, it might help for a little bit, and then your sleep deteriorates again, and then you try something else, and maybe it helps for a little bit or it doesn't. And Every time you go through that cycle, you get more and more discouraged and hopeless that anything is going to help. So I'm going to explain why these things are working and what will work. But first, I want to tell you that a healthy body sleeps well. So if you have trouble sleeping, it's a sign that your body isn't healthy. Even if you feel pretty healthy otherwise, even if you live a healthy lifestyle, you eat well, you exercise, all the things. If you aren't sleeping, there's no way that you are in perfect health. And if you can't sleep normally, then there are things going on in your body and your mind that are keeping you awake at night. And so if you've tried all the things and nothing has helped, there are several reasons why they haven't improved your sleep. And the first reason is there's more than one thing causing your sleep problems if these things haven't helped. So you're trying one thing at a time when there's more than one thing that's causing your insomnia. So for example, let's say you've tried magnesium and it didn't really help. You could actually still be deficient in magnesium and that is contributing to your sleep issues. But you can also have other things going on like an unhealthy gut or a congested liver or hormone imbalance. So all of those things, including that magnesium deficiency, could be contributing to your poor sleep. And so magnesium by itself isn't going to help even though it could be a part of the solution. So all of my clients have more than one reason why they can't sleep. And that's why I look at everything that could be causing your insomnia. For me, I had a parasite, I had food sensitivities, I had hormone imbalance, and I had mineral imbalance and some toxic metals that were all affecting my sleep. And it wasn't until I addressed those things all at the same time that my sleep got better. Now, the second reason why everything you've tried so far hasn't worked is because you aren't actually getting to the root of why you can't sleep. So all those supplements and pills and gadgets are band-aids. They're trying to get rid of your symptoms. They're trying to cover it up, but they don't deal with what's causing your insomnia in the first place. And so these band-aids may help for a short time and then they stop working. And so that's why you get in that cycle or on that roller coaster with some good nights and then plenty of bad nights in between. So functional lab tests show what's going on in your body that's keeping you awake at night so we know what to fix. They're finding the root cause instead of just putting a band-aid on symptoms. Now the third reason why nothing has worked so far to help you sleep is that you are guessing. So you're trying this pill, that gadget, seeing if it will work. And then the problem is that every time it doesn't work, you get more discouraged and more frustrated. And then your frustration keeps you from believing that anything will work. 
So you stop trying or you try one little thing at a time, hoping that it will work and you just stay stuck. So the benefit of lab testing is that testing is faster and a lot more effective than guessing. So the test will show exactly what your body needs, exactly what your body's missing that is keeping you awake at night. So it's testing instead of guessing. Now, the fourth reason your sleep hasn't improved yet with everything you've tried is that you're looking at either your body or your mind and not both at the same time. When the truth is that both your body and your mind are playing a role in your sleep problems. So if you've had trouble sleeping for any period of time, you know how easily it gets in your head. You quickly start worrying about sleep and you feel anxious before bed or in the middle of the night. And you really have to change those thoughts too to sleep better. And if you don't rest normally, you also have imbalances going on in your body that you don't know about. So they might not be causing any other symptoms except insomnia, or they might be causing lots of symptoms like low energy and brain fog, digestive issues. I even work with people with disorders like fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, and autoimmunity. So there are a few possible things going on in your body and your mind that are keeping you from sleeping. These common ones are a pathogen in your gut, food sensitivities, liver detox issues, mineral imbalance, and hormones, as well as in your mind, chronic mental stress is going to keep your body out of balance, negative thoughts about your sleep, being unhappy in your job, your relationship, your life. So all of these things cause this constant stress on your body that makes it really hard to sleep and be healthy. As you've been learning from this podcast, the way to sleep better is to find the imbalances in your body that are keeping you awake. I created the Insomnia Insight Program so you'll know what these imbalances are and have a plan to fix them in just 30 days. In the Insomnia Insight Program, my team and I use four functional lab tests as well as assessments to look for everything that could be affecting your sleep so we don't miss anything. Then we will give you a personalized, holistic 90-day plan to get your body back in balance so you can get the deep sleep that you want. You'll know exactly which supplements and habits your body needs. No more trying to find the magic pill or following advice you find online that just doesn't work for you. You'll also get support for six months with weekly live coaching calls and daily chat messaging to get all of your questions answered. This will ensure your plan is successful so your sleep keeps improving. You'll also have access to valuable training such as smart sleeper habits, where you'll learn evidence-based habits that will help you sleep more peacefully. You'll learn smart sleeper essentials so you can fall asleep fast and stop the 3 a.m. wake-ups by finding the perfect diet for your body and by balancing your blood sugar. And the smart sleeper mindset will help you get rid of negative thoughts and anxiety about sleep so that your mind doesn't sabotage you. The program also includes bonuses such as how to get out of fight or flight and calm your nervous system, how to minimize toxins and support your liver, how to make changing habits easier, all so that you can restore your health and sleep deeply. There will also be challenges so you stay motivated to follow your protocol and to celebrate as your sleep keeps improving. There will be monthly bonus trainings to further improve your health, mindset, and sleep. There will also be customized case reviews available. So if your sleep hasn't improved in three months, you can submit a case review where we will review your results and plan and tell you exactly what to do next to make sure you're successful in the program. And if you sign up from this podcast, you can get a special bonus, a customized sleep jumpstart plan. We will give you top three action steps to improve your sleep right away as soon as you sign up while we're waiting for your test results. The investment for the Insomnia Insight Program is $2,500 plus the cost of the lab tests, which are around $1,000. There is financing available from advancedcarecard.com. You can find out more about the program and sign up at the link in the show notes. In the Insomnia Insight Program, you'll know the imbalances that are causing your sleep issues And you'll have a plan to fix them in just 30 days so that you can sleep better and make the difference you're meant to make in the world.